I looted 1,000 airdrops. Today we're looking at what's inside of a thousand airdrops. Watch the possibility of getting this and that. I have gone into the depths to find out what we can get. Now in the past I did one where I looted the a hundred, but I mean we gotta step it up a notch here and get up to a thousand. We're gonna give some nice tips and tricks for you. I don't know why they're nice, but they're gonna be very helpful for you to improve your gameplay hunting those crates. Which crates to go for, which crates to not go for, even though that's not a thing. Um, and just overall give you a better experience going for those airdrop weapons, what you can expect to find in them, what you can and cannot do, and how to approach enemies already at an airdrop. We'll take a look at all of this today. Last but not least, the video today is sponsored by PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. Thank you very much for sponsoring this video. Without further ado, let's roll the tips for you. I made a complete Excel sheet for you guys to explore too if you want. I'm going to add additional guides I do in the future to this Excel document too. So it'll just have different pages for what we're talking about. First off, the overall breakdown. You will always get a weapon, obviously. There's about 43% chance of getting a heal. 20% chance of getting a ghillie suit. A backpack is around 80. Get a scope about 24 to 25. And getting one attachment is about 55. Now these numbers, do bear in mind that in order to get like the exact number, you'd have to do like a million of them, right? But we did a thousand and... And that's about as close as I'm going to get to the actual numbers. So when we look at this, take it with a grain of salt, you know, maybe add a percent or take a percent from it. So 1000 airdrops, that's a lot. The guns, obviously you always get a gun, but it does look like the DBS has a slightly higher chance of being in that crate. The arm too looks like it. I will believe that the DBS has a higher chance just because people were complaining in the beginning that they were not getting this DBS. So maybe they bumped it up here in the early stages so people can get it tested and they can get feedback and approve this weapon. The arm does have a slightly higher chance too and I believe this is true too. I don't think I was just super lucky because everyone wants the arm right? So it would make sense for the arm to have a little higher chance of being in that drop. So that's those two unique ammo classes that are having a slightly higher chance, possibly. Looking at the healing here, I almost always got a medkit or a syringe. Sometimes we got a first aid or painkillers, but medkit syringe is by far the highest chance of getting from a drop. Now, overall, again, 43% chance of getting a heal. That's not bad, especially if you go for that first drop of the game. But then you have about a 50% chance of getting a free heal on the go, right? Hopefully it's a med kit, but you never know. You seem to be getting a ghillie suit in every fifth crate you loot and a backpack in like almost every crate. That was like all over the place. So don't worry about level 3 baggage, you will almost always get one. Now as I said, there's about a 50-50 chance of getting an attachment. And breaking these down into categories, you can see that each time that you get an attachment, there's only a 6.4% chance of you getting the 15 times. That is not a lot. Now, these numbers are, again, a rough estimate. There are only a 1,000 airdrops looted, but that is indeed a lot. I feel like that 15 times may need to be bumped a little bit, but don't expect it to be there every time you go for a crate because it definitely isn't in every single one of them. Now, the most rare attachment in the entire game will be the 15 times. I thought it was the extended quick draw mag for sniper rifles, but turns out that you get that just a slightly more often than the 15 times. Maybe I've just been lucky unlucky with some of them and maybe they have the exact same chance could very well be. But those are the two attachments that you will rarely ever see in game. But it's fun to see that now like in my head because I've looted tons of airdrops right. I've gone through the loot tables of those airdrops so many times and now I can actually put somewhat of a number on to see whoa this is the actual chance of getting this attachment this gun is healing ghillie suit etc now let's look at the ammunition it seems like there's a slightly higher chance of you getting a smaller pack of ammo rather than a big one the mk can come out with as little as 30 beans that is not a lot for the mk so be sure to loot some more 762 if you do get this weapon now the dbs 30 40 rounds that's probably most likely all you're going to be needing for this weapon if you do decide to use it the arm always comes out with 20 beans the m249 100 or 200 aux 6090 grows a 6090 the only thing here is the aux seem to have a little higher chance of coming out with a bigger stack now this is only by 164 looted aux so maybe we would need to loot more crates to really get a specific number in there because i feel like there's a slightly smaller chance of you getting a higher stack of ammo Anyways, these are the like the rough estimates that I came up with for the airdrops. This is what you can get. I will link this sheet in the description below. Feel free to check it out if you want. Let's get into the tips. When it comes to airdrops landing in water, there's several 
little small tips that will make your day easier. If you park right next to it and then hit the F key, you'll land right on top. You can stay in here and loot. So that means if you're out here in the ocean and another boat is coming your way, you can simply jump up here and mow him down. He is not going to touch your drop. So snag all your loot and be on with it. Secondly, for this tip, we'll split this sucker into two. You can also vault on top of crates. So if you're swimming all the way, again, same thing goes. You can now sit on top of it and shoot whoever comes your way. Jump out on your boat again if you want, or just just uh, relax out here on the ocean. So I enjoy your time. It is worth to notice that sometimes, not very often, but sometimes if you drop loot up here, it will go through the crate and land on the bottom of it. So just keep an eye out if you're missing attachments or anything after you swap weapons. Go check beneath it. So what if we roll up to an airdrop that is on top of a roof? Use your environment. Almost everything is accessible, like most roofs that you can uh, find a way to get on top of, such as this. Vault up. You will make a little bit of a tricky jump here, and then if you make it up, which most of the times you will now because of ledge scrapping, you can take your drop, be on your way. Bye. If it's on top of a shack too, use your car, whatever. Simply go up there snag it let's say you want to loot a drop super quick you know you want to get rid of your ump take your attachments off left alt plus right click walk up to the airdrop and simply just spam it until you get your gear careful not to spam too much and then you can take your red dot on immediately run away do whatever you want it's just a simple right click spam and the gun will re replace the last one you you had out so be cautious of that but you just you just spam right click, you get away with everything real quick. Be sure you take your attachments off though, because you don't want to leave those behind. And there you go, you're on your way. Drops can only drop within the white zone. Yes and no. If the plane started to fly before it hit the previous zone right here, then we will have a drop possibly outside the white zone. So keep that in mind, because some people think that it can only at all times drop within the white. That is not true. It depends on when the flight takes off or whichever way you want to say it so that when the plane starts flying the decision is already made beforehand of where the crate will be dropping it is possible to pick up the airdrop with your uac or whichever vehicle you're driving this is easier in an open uac or plane in third person for sure now you can take off nobody will touch your airdrop takes a little bit of practice especially first person um <laughs> sometime vehicle physics can uh, happen too Oh well, shit, that's part of the experience, man. <laughs> oh, I'm putting that in the video. That's too good. That means that whenever a drop lands and the parachute's gone, that thing is static. It will not move. You can't get run over. You're behind it. Nades will still kill you, but nades won't kill you if they land on this side. It is now a part of the world and will not move no matter what you do. With boats, this won't happen. What will either happen is it will glide right off, push you away. You will not be able to transport it by boat. Even with the UAC, it is a hard task to do and most likely will turn you into a little bouncy ball. So be cautious, but uh, it's a fun play for the memes. It is possible for an airplane to drop two drops at once. They can be right on top of each other or spread across the zone. Whichever is on its plane path, so do keep an eye out. Just because it dropped once does not mean it's not going to drop twice. I've seen it plenty of times. There is a myth that the airdrops can be in triple. I've never ever seen it. I've heard a couple of guys say they have seen it. But we're going to put that one in the myth bank and say two is something that you can expect quite often. So don't be scared to look up again even though you've seen the plane already drop once. The fastest way to get out of the car and get to an airdrop without taking any damage is slam the handbrake and slam a side into the airdrop like that. Now also have your vehicle binds ready, swap seats, jump out real quick, load your drop and be on your way. That is kind of a vehicle tip too I guess that you can slam that handbrake into any wall with the side and you won't take any damage. And also for a vehicle tip, now that we're talking about seats, I might as well flop that in there. Good binds for this is E and Q to swap seats. So E and Q for other passenger seats, make the last one, whatever. And then W for shift W to get in the driver's seat. 
That way, whenever you get in a car, I know this is off track, but whenever you get in a car, you just start driving and you'll be on your way. And it's really easy to do those drive-by shootings with these vines. Anyways, that's off topic, but there you go. Let's say we're late game and this is the drop you were all up to. There's a buggy outside part and the airdrop is right there for the taking. I would strongly suggest that these are the types of drops that you leave behind. The first two drops are always my favorite to go for because there's rarely anybody camping around the areas. As long as you're the first one there, especially Irangel, Miramar, Vikendi, you're almost always good to go. But Sanuk, be very cautious. There's almost always someone showing up to the party unless it's in the ocean. But there are drops that you shouldn't go for. And that, even me saying that, that's a lot. But such as this, where you already know there's going to be someone around. Or even if not, I would at least drop a smoke from down here and go up and check it if you absolutely have to. And on that subject is a really important one. If, as said, you want to go for that drop, drop a smoke on it. Of course, don't walk into the open like that. You can easily drop one like this from down under. And then somewhat safely go for the drop now this counts in multiple situations for the first one or two drops i rarely ever smoke it only if i know there's people around such as a drop at school in courtyard or anything really but shinky you know then yeah i'll drop the smoke and i'll go out for it but normally save your smokes for other things unless there's a potential danger there out in the open it was all the way down there don't bother unless it's a late drop all right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys found something useful today. Um, if you have any more tips that I skipped somehow, please do leave a comment with it, and I will heart it for other people to see. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.